Let's calculate the addition of these fractions we see on the screen. We can see that we have two fractions with a polynomial and the denominator of both of the fractions. The way of operating these fractions is the same way as if it were normal fractions. There's no difference. So, first of all, we have to calculate the minimum common multiple of the denominators. As we can see, these polynomials are irreducible polynomials. They cannot be factorized anymore because they are first degree polynomials. So, for obtaining the minimum common multiple is just multiplying each by each by the other one that is x minus 1 times x minus 3 let's write this common denominator on both of the terms both of the fractions and now we have to multiply the numerator by what's left of dividing the denominator by the old denominator so x minus 1 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 it's x minus 3 so we have to multiply 2 by x minus 3 here we go and now let's go with the other fraction and 1 and dividing x minus 1 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 we would have just x minus 1 so it would be minus 1 times x minus 1 and this is the same as the common denominator down here x minus 1 times x minus 3 and the numerator multiplying this we will have 2 times x minus 2 times 3 is minus 6 and minus 1 times x is minus x and minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 let's copy the denominator the same way it is and let's operate the numerator 2x minus x is x and minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5 and now let's calculate the multiplication we have on the denominator because we, as you we can see we cannot simplify anything from here and multiplying the denominator we would have let's copy the numerator the same way so x minus 1 times x minus 3 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 and this would be the result of the addition of fractions given